and welcome to The Play. I'm Dave Morris. Updates today on the Oklahoma beheading story. Cleveland County District Attorney Greg Mashburn said, quote, it's highly likely prosecutors will seek the death penalty against Alton Alexander Nolan. Nolan was charged today with first degree murder, assault and battery with a deadly weapon and assault with a deadly weapon. Mashburn said the investigation into Thursday's attack at Vaughn Foods is ongoing. More charges could be filed. The police department has done an excellent job in investigating this crime. Uh, continues to keep us uh, up to date with any information that they're coming across and they keep and they are delivering their reports to us. And as more details are given to us and as we, we review that information uh, provided to us by law enforcement, we could always add additional counts as we identify people who may have been also assaulted uh, during this altercation at Bomb Foods. That is Cleveland County District Attorney Greg Mashburn. He spoke for about 14 minutes today. You can watch that video online at newsok.com. In other news, a U.S. District Judge in Muskogee sided with Oklahoma Attorney General Scott Pruitt today in his lawsuit claiming the Affordable Care Act does not allow subsidies for health insurance purchased on the federal exchange in Oklahoma. The Oklahoma's Chris Castile reports the decision would effectively prevent Oklahomans below certain income levels from receiving federal aid to buy health care policies. A similar case is awaiting consideration by the U.S. Supreme Court. And health care providers filed suit today against a law set to go into effect November 1st. That would regulate the way in which certain abortion-inducing drugs may be used in Oklahoma. The legislation requires the drugs be administered only in accordance with U.S. Food and Drug Administration protocol. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled a similar bill approved in 2011 was unconstitutional. Our Capitol reporter Rick Green will have more on the debate in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman. One of the newest members to the Oklahoma City Thunder is making fast friends. Our Thunderbeat writer Anthony Slater reports Mitch McGarry's colleagues are already starting to love their new teammates. Anthony will have more on the rookie's first impression in upcoming editions of the Oklahoman. We will also have a series of videos, photos, and articles from Monday's Media Day available online at newsok.com. Turning to weather, there is a slight chance for storms this evening, but the greatest chance for precipitation will be the northern and western parts of the state. The chances for showers increase as a strong cold front moves through the area Wednesday night and into Thursday. We could also see strong to severe storms across northern Oklahoma on Wednesday evening. Highs will be close to 90 degrees tomorrow, but cool down into the upper 70s as we head into Thursday, which looks pretty good to me. Temperatures will rebound back into the 80s as we start the weekend as summer refuses to go away. There you have it. These stories and more in upcoming editions of Your Oklahoman and online at newsok.com. Have a great Tuesday evening, everyone.